of a eureka moment in discussions about how, how we would put together this team. The more we looked at it, the more we examined it, the more good levels of comparison that we saw between the settings in terms of delivery model, in terms of program, and also in terms of the products. You know, these are settings that are highly complex, driven by high levels of technology. Um, they are you know, incredibly um, clean and needed to be sterile environments. They are airtight. Um, and require you know, significant levels of kind of oxy oxygen distributions and, and other you know, high levels of engineered service. The real difference in that setting is that there's not many procurers or spacecrafts. There's a single client and a single very strong integrated client and a client who is working with a supply chain in a much more integrated way. They tend to be very strong in developing a functional specification. They, they're very strong in being able to standardize the solution and repeatedly learn how they're doing it. Um, they are international in their collaboration with other agencies and other institutions. And they use the supply chain um, you know, on an ongoing basis and they sign up to, to long-term contracts they reduce error, they minimize failure, they um, you know, learn from mistakes, and they are incrementally making those improvements. In the construction sector, and particularly in the healthcare sector, you know, hospitals are procured on a cyclic nature. You know, they they come, come about every, every 20, 20 years. We've just finished you know, PFI and its delivery. The, um, the HIP program and the kind of next evolution of a, of a healthcare delivery program it you know, gives us this opportunity to think, well, how could we do it in a, in a different way with a more integrated client, working with an alliance of you know, very experienced contractors and suppliers who are early engaged, you know, thinking about how they can reduce error, learn, adapt, and you know, create this more dynamic clustered environment. You saw teams from multiple different contractors and suppliers working together in a more agile and aligned way than they've probably ever done. You saw expedient procurement processes that meant that they went directly to the very best and most highly specialist and most capable suppliers. And when you look back at it, you think, well, yeah, that is an alliance, isn't it? That is all of the characteristics for an incredibly strong alliance. And it was delivered in a period of uh, three to four months. And so you know, we must absolutely think about how we can you know, build on that expertise and think about how we procure. If you create the right environment, you know, people will come together and they will work together in a more you know, advanced and more you know, exciting and interesting way. And we just need to kind of remove some of those barriers, don't we? You need to you know, pull down some of those boundaries between people and you kind of don't expect um, you know, if we de just deliver projects as projects, that to happen. <laughs>